when broadleaf deciduous trees unveil their colorful autumn spectacle, we humans marvel at their beauty. But for them, it's the outward sign of a life and death struggle for survival. When the weather gets chilly, these trees start to pull the water and nutrients in their leaves back into the trunk. The last rays of useful sunlight are channeled into making a sugary antifreeze that will protect the body of the tree. The green pigment, chlorophyll, disappears, leaving purples, reds, oranges, and yellows. Finally, the leaves die, and the trees discard them. As temperatures drop below freezing, the plants of deciduous forests settle down to hibernate until spring. They cope with these brutally cold winters by simply taking a long nap. But there are trees that can survive even colder conditions. No seasonal slumber required. Like hardwoods, coniferous trees also have a kind of antifreeze in their sap, but they have it in their leaves as well as their limbs and trunks, which means they can keep them all winter, so they never change color. The needle-like leaves also have a thick waxy coating that limits water loss. The winters here in northern Minnesota are long and hard. The trees have to survive temperatures down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit for five months. As the northern spring approaches, warming temperatures and longer days release the land from winter. Plants that have laid dormant begin to grow again. Like these, buried all winter in the mud at the bottom of this frozen lake. Retreating ice allows the water to warm and this white water lily to be reborn into another season. And as all the trees emerge from their winter slumber, the vivid green of new leaves returns to the land. Along with the perfume of spring flowers. From the frozen north to the southern deserts, the spring bloom celebrates plants' astonishing ability to survive wherever they are, and against all